Fat Stringers and Lowen Lovers, and welcome to today's bass guitar lesson. And today we have this kind of um, Les Claypoly type thing, like Hank getting these um, triplets in there, and um, yeah, yeah, you know I love Les Claypool. You know I love them. You just know I. It's one of my biggest influences. Um, yeah, so then, a couple of things that he does here actually. We have this chord and a downstroke and an upstroke, and we have this. Uh, just playing with three fingers as well. Uh, I did I did a one of the three six five have been on three fingers. Um, I'll put a link if I can find it. If I can find it, because there's a few lessons there now. I'll put a link there on how to play with three fingers. Okay, um, but I'm presuming that you've done that to come and do this lesson. So the first thing I want you to do is come to the E string at the fifth fret, uh, right there, and just play it with your index finger. Yeah, nice and easy, uh, E string, fifth fret. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the, what is that? That's the seventh fret on the D string with your little finger, or your ring finger. I'll let you get away with your ring finger if you can't do uh, the little finger, okay? So, okay, and that's when we're gonna implement our three fingers right there on the D string, okay? So you hold down at the seventh fret there, and just one, two, three, okay? One, two, three, you're playing it three times, but real quick, it sounds like that. Yeah, again, I've got a lesson on how to do that. Yeah, it's a cool technique that you can use every now and again. Good for runs and things. Okay, okay, and after you've done that, come down to the fifth fret on the D string with your index finger. Okay, and then come to the seventh fret on the A string with your ring finger. Um, hold on. Yep, and then come down to the fifth fret on the A string with your index finger. Okay, and then we're going to do this chord here, this kind of like quirky primer sess chord that Les likes to do quite a bit. Uh, and what you're going to do there is you're going to come to the fifth fret on the A string with your uh, middle finger, the fourth fret on the D string with your index finger, and then the fifth fret on the G string with your uh, ring finger. Okay, so like that. Uh, so we have bum, maintain the chord, downstroke with your um, index and middle fingers and your plucking hands. So you're going to downstroke the, uh, the the A, the D, and the G strings all at the same time, like fussily. Yeah. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull back up. So you can do your downstroke when your fingers are already set, and then you're going to bring them back back up on that D, uh, sorry, that G, the D, and the A string slowly. So we have this. I think we've done a lesson on flamenco playing as well. So. Yeah, we've covered all this. So again, nice and easy. Well, it won't be easy for you beginner guys. But anyone that's been doing my lessons for a while now shouldn't have any problems with that. So we have that kind of less Claypoly thing. Anyway, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that bass guitar lesson and I shall see you in tomorrow's.